like anything that I'm struggling with that I feel like I can't tell somebody. I like to put in my artwork to get outside of me. And also I've made like a twin series. I have a twin sister, we're identical twins. And so it's about like our relationship, how we act with one another and what that is like. Uh, my art is actually um, based uh, on uh, some uh, spiritual aspects of my life. I come from uh, North Africa and uh, most of my work is uh, acrylic base and I actually make my own, uh, uh, my own colors, my own paint. Everybody out there has uh, human frailty and, and emotions and we all have things that we do that drive each other crazy uh, and a lot of it comes out when we're shopping for some reason. So that's, that's pretty much what I'm trying to get out there. It's like a, a reflection of society uh, shown in, in humor. So the process is laying out the texture and I've used all kinds of tools like spoons and sticks to create the texture and then I'll come back and add the color. So my art is a lot about texture and opposites, opposite emotions and I like to visualize what those emotions are. Um, I'm really inspired by uh, kaleidoscope visuals and um, tie-dyes and I love black and white and everything in between so that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. So the message that I'm wanting to send with my art is I'm wanting to show the harmony between urban architecture and nature and trying to show that these can coexist and we can live in this in harmony through the textures that are found in nature and then colors that are found in architecture. Uh, the message I try to give in my photographs is emotion captured. In every one of my images I try to do two things. I try to capture an image from the subject and evoke an, an Im a emotion from the viewer. So it's two parts. I capture an emotion from the subject, I evoke an emotion from the viewer. And that's kind of the reaction I normally get. And that's what I'm striving for in every photograph. You can draw occult symbols, you can draw women, you can incorporate these things and make them look strong and powerful. So uh, really that's the ultimate goal for my art, is to show that you can do things with both uh, symbols and even occult symbols and women and make them just bold and powerful. Uh, there's, there's a certain satisfaction of working with wood. Um, it, it's this manipulating such a strong life uh, something that has its own life to it, you know, um, that inspires me. I absolutely love to bring new life to a pile of old wood um, that's, you know, rotting behind a barn or, or just forgotten about, you know. And I've been fortunate enough to find those piles of people who have this accumulation of wood who know that it deserves, it deserves to be uh, reused, you know, given new life. Who knows? It could, it could, who knows what it's seen? and it could see a hundred more years with the way that it's repurposed and uh, put in people's homes. You know, every, everybody's art resonates, you know, in a different way. So what I try to do is try to bring uh, a piece that is going to invoke the, the real feelings of, of how I feel about it. So every piece of art that I have is, I put my heart and soul into it, you know, and some of the pieces that I have take two, three hundred hours. It first started out with astrology, and it just kind of blossomed into everything else. Um, some people in my family know some things about witchcraft and stuff, so they taught me a little bit here and there, and it got me really connected with nature and the seasons and everything, which really inspired me for more artwork. A lot of people have told me that when they look at it, it, they, it kind of trips them out a little bit, and I, that's what I wanted. I wanted people to, 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 be, to view the undulating black and white and to, um, Kind of be mesmerized a little bit, and, and maybe hopefully, because I, I feel like I think a lot when I'm most like mesmerized or um, confused. It helps me to think. So I want people to think when they when they look at that. In fact, all of my artworks, I want people to think. That's really what I, I want. My family is all spread around. I've got family in Singapore and Scotland, so um, I really pull from them, and I pull the colors that they love, and I feel like I create a lot for them. But um, it's you know my art, I guess. <laughs> So I, I actually like for my painting to do to pop, like 3D artwork. So as you can see, like a lot of my pieces, a lot of people, you, you come by, you, you want to touch them, they just come at you. I like conversation pieces in bright colors, so that's just something that I love to do as an artist. This piece that, that I'm showing tonight 
This was inspired by my love of music and of the custom hot rod and custom motorcycle culture. Um, and, and everything that goes with it, I think it's just a real positive, a, a kind of like a positive thing, you know, it's very creative. And uh, if I'm a fan of anything, I'm a fan of all things creative. Since then, I've started uh, doing prints and different things with the, the originals that I have. And most of my stuff is mainly about um, movements and contrasts and a little bit of interpretation. So I just leave a little bit to your imagination to make sure that it keeps your interest and keeps you thinking about the piece. <laughs> the message that I want to send with my art is, is that there isn't really anything that you can't do. Most people are surprised that I'm short, I'm a female, and I'm wielding big tools and doing crazy things with metal as well as glass. And I just believe that every piece has a story. The story comes from the artist, and that artist can be you if you decide to actually do something with your hands. So. Why not try it? I rely on uh, my dreams a lot. Um, I lose a dream and uh, some things I just basically dream up. And I basically want to create a sense of emotion behind the pieces rather than just a cartoon character. So my artwork is a, a non-toxic epoxy resin in which I use acrylic paint to paint on top of canvas, coat it with multiple layers of resin, and I also use fluorescent paint. So over time, when you use a black light, you can actually get a different painting, whether that be a day or night piece. And it also protects it from UV light as well as moisture. I'm a self-taught artist, so every painting I do is constantly a, a learning lesson. Um, but I try to promote self-confidence, self-worth, and positivity and, and love in my art. I take photographs of things that I see that I love, things that I think others will not be able to see. I don't do any changes to my photographs except for the color. I try and capture things exactly as I see them so that I can share them with others forever. My art bag to uh, Rumi philosophy, uh, that was a uh, dance, a uh, kind of dance, it's called Samo dance, and it's, uh, has, it has a circle sh shape. And that's uh, to know, uh, but uh, to know uh, humanity. The message I send for my art: you can do whatever you want if you're willing to put in the hard work and you're willing to do the work. Anything can happen, and dreams come true. And that's my message. And I hope my dreams come true.